Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate another cache. This this next one is called subdivided. This is a little unusual in that the order of the lettering is a bit strange. So we'll begin just as before by copying the instructions to the clipboard. There we go. And we'll head over to the waypoint, create ourselves a new waypoint. We'll set begin with the coordinates starting where the cache itself is located. And then we'll open up the calculator from here. We paste in those descriptions, the instructions. And you'll see that the southerly coordinates are listed as A, C, D. And the easterly coordinates are 0, B, E, which seems a little odd. Now, when we click our six values in, you'll see that they appear just in the regular alphabetic order as always. So we need that second letter, the, the B there, to actually be a C. The way we achieve that is by doing a long press on that button. You'll see a keyboard pops up, and now we can just simply select the value C. And sure enough, we now have a hard-coded C in that location. So going back to our instructions, they were C... Uh, a, C, D, which is what we have. Now we want 0, B, E. So going back here, we can select that, whoop, click on this one here, and you'll see it's actually a 9 underneath. So we're going to have to hard code again, hard specify the value 0. All right. Then the next letter, if you recall, was in fact a B. So we're going to have to manually select a B. And then the last one, as you can see, is indeed an E. So we'll specify manually specify the letter e so we now have a c d 0 b e which we'll just double check a c d 0 b e one last thing that's easy to miss on this cache is that the coordinates are actually 138 and then it's 34 we're actually very close as you can see it starts with a zero and so the decoded coordinates have just slipped over one minute to, from where they were, you know, from where you begin. So we're actually going to hard specify this value here, specifically specified as being a 4. Now that, that format should be exactly the same as what's, what's specified down here. All right, now it's time to actually decode the cache itself. So fortunately I have a photo of the plaque. Here it is. And the first part, number A, it is asking how many words are on the top line of this plaque. Well, that looks like 5 to me. So, sure enough, punch in that number five. How many lines are on the plaque in total? I believe it was nine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is. That's for the value B. Is a nine. There we go. C. What is the third digit of the year that the plaque was opened? Well, it was opened in 1975. Third digit is a seven. Uh, what is the second letter of the Prime Minister of Australia's surname? And what is its corresponding number? Well, it's referring here to Whitlam, Gough Whitlam, second letter being an H, and H is the eighth letter of the alphabet. Was that for, just double check what letter that was, that was for D. H being number eight. And finally, for part E, what we need is how many letters are in the third word on the eighth line. That'll be one, two, three, the land here, which is a four letter word. There we go. That now gives us a valid result. We can click the plus button. Uh, it's been entered into here. Plus again, it's been added as a waypoint. And sure enough, here we are 8,000 miles away from the Google headquarters. Thank you.